guys. So for, so for today's strength and conditioning workout, it's upper body and pull focus with some ab movements in there. So we'll get started. So you're gonna work, you have nine exercises. You're gonna work at each one for a minute. And then the 10th one is rest. So you're gonna repeat that three times. So a total 30 minute workout and we'll get going. So our first one is going to be a lunge with a row. So similar to our bent over row with our staggered stance that we do often, but your back foot is gonna be toe into the ground. You're gonna go push into that front leg into a lunge and then bringing back to a row. So keeping your shoulders even, back nice and straight. So lunge to row. After that, we have a circle underneath. So this one, you'll want your mat. It's gonna be on your back. You're gonna come up into a sit up. Arms are gonna come under your leg and then they're gonna circle overhead. So over and back. After that, we have dumbbell snatch. So alternating sides, starting with the dumbbell between your feet, bringing up, pulling up right overhead, back down, and then switching sides. So alternating each time, looking straight ahead in front of you, pulling up, and then other side. After that, we have a sit with a knee wrist. So I'll explain this one as it goes. So you're gonna sit up, your knees are gonna be, you're gonna lean back and then back. So your hands are sliding back and forth on your wrists to hands. So wrists are starting on my knees. I'm leaning back to hands and then back to wrists. So keeping that back nice and straight, looking straight ahead in front of you and then chest up. So fingers and then my wrists are sliding across your knees. Next we have a plie squat with a bicep curl. So you're gonna stand nice and wide in that plie squat. And then we're gonna do a wide bicep curl. So bicep curl out to the side and then down in that plie squat. So down and then just staying in that plie squat the whole time, but nice and slow and controlled with our bicep curls. After that, we have a plank from arm step out. So on your forearms, you're gonna be in your plank position, stepping out alternating legs. So keeping nice plank position, core engaged, and then alternating back and forth. After that, we have a single arm kettlebell swing or dumbbell. So you're gonna swing up, coming up, and then back. So my back stays nice and straight, and I'm bringing it forward. So back, and then bringing it up. So bend in the knee, and then as I bring it up, and then switching sides. So just bringing it up as high as your shoulder and then back. So keeping that back nice and straight, nice and flat, chest up and then back. After that, we have side bends. So you're gonna bend to the side and then back. So standing straight up, one arm on your side and then back down. So chest stays up and then We'll switch sides halfway. And then for the ninth minute, you're gonna switch sides for your uh, single arm dumbbell swing. So you're gonna go other arm. So coming back and then back up. So driving those hips forward as you bring the kettlebell up or dumbbell and then back down. And then 10th is going to be rest. You'll repeat that three times and that's your workout. Good luck guys.